I'm Dave Birch from Consult Hyperion. We're here at MPE TV and I'm talking to... Zach Powers. Now, Zach, uh, you're with uh, Fair Harbor. It's part of Booking.com, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do the experience side of travel. So one thing I picked up yesterday, actually this morning as well, is there's quite a lot of talk about the requirements in the travel industry being a little different from some of the other sectors that are being discussed here. What, what are the sort of trends in payments in the travel sector? Yeah, so it's a good question. We're asked a lot. Um, so Fair Harbor, we focus, as I mentioned, on the experience side of it. And a, a big trend we see is paying online. So uh, that's actually where Fair Harbor comes in. So uh, it enables payments to be taken online for experiences. So what you might see five or 10 years ago is if you wanted to book, let's say, a canal cruise boat in Amsterdam, you would simply just call them up or send them an email. But what's happening today is you want an instantaneous confirmation. You want to pay right away with your trusted payment method. And that's what Fair Harbor enables. So uh, I think that's a trend we're going to continue, continue to see. And it's, it's quite exciting, actually. We're all familiar with paying with credit cards online. But in local markets, there's a lot of alternative payment methods, APMs, that customers want to use, right? You have to somehow deal with all of this? Yeah, exactly. So looking at APMs, what we try to do is look at uh, by country or by market and understand what a customers want. So we put the customer in the center of anything. And then from there, taking a look at the data that we have, we make a decision of if it makes sense to implement an APM. It doesn't always be that we take any APM and we just implement it. We don't want a cluttered checkout experience, something confusing. So that's really the end of the day is do your customers, do your clients want it? And that's what you should focus on. So, so customers in the Netherlands, Germany, the UK see a different checkout page? Yeah, exactly. I, I think this is uh, typical throughout any e-commerce company that uh, customers in different countries will see different APMs. So for example, probably as, as, a, as a Dutch company, the most common one you'll hear is Ideal. Um, this is used by a majority of uh, Dutch customers, uh, so that's essential in, in the Netherlands. But if I show that to an American, they would probably not know what an ideal is at all. So just out of curiosity, how much of a headache has been the PSD2 SCA debate that we've heard about here in practical terms for guys like you? Well, actually, I think PSD2 and S SCA took a lot of development time. Um, so I think people were worried if people are going to make the deadline. They were relatively relaxed on when the deadlines actually came. I think a lot of people expected that. Nevertheless, I feel that today there's not so much pressure on we've already built what we have and it's working. So um, actually, if you're at MPE this year, you don't hear so much about SCA. But if you came one year ago, it was a lot of the topic. So one thing I'm curious to know then is given this experience in the different local markets, what are the factors that you look for when you're choosing PSPs? Yeah, so um, let's say in more established companies, you probably have a formal RFP process. So this is what we have at Fair Harbor. Um, just on the top of my mind, things that you might not think of that would be helpful is what's the geographical reach or what's the geographical specialty of that PSP? I mean, there might be a great PSP in Latin America, but you don't probably want to use it in Europe maybe. Um, for us, one thing that's really important is omnichannel. So can they do both POS terminals in person and also online? Uh, of course, the one that we all talk about is pricing. Uh, you should make sure you have someone on your team who un understands best in class pricing, otherwise you might be taken for a ride. US experience. So what is like the back end of the PSP look like? And just in general, this might sound silly also, but uh, just the account managers, are they good? Do you click with them? Uh, the support staff, are they good? Because that's a day-to-day. -day. Well, I was talking to somebody yesterday who said, you know, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of commoditization in this space. So the pricing and so on is, is less of a differentiation. And they highlighted responsiveness as the sort of growing, you know, because everybody says they're omni-channel yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But this ability to respond to different local needs, especially when things go wrong, that's turned out to be a big differentiator now. Yeah, I, th I think one thing that's interesting is that the larger of a client you come, the, uh, the faster the response time you're going to get because you're more valuable for them. Nevertheless, the culture at certain companies might not be as good uh, or they might not have their stuff together. Uh, so yes, I do really agree that that is a, a super important factor as us. Also knowledge, like if we come to them with a, a something we don't know about, like are they really going to be able to chime in and really give us good impact? That's super important. So in, in the sort of travel and hospitality sector, there are a set of unusual requirements you don't get in other sectors because of pre-auths and, and this kind of thing. 
how generic are the solutions that you can take from these PSPs? Or do they have to deliver special solutions for the travel sector? Yeah, I, so I would say two things. First of all, depending on the industry, there, and when I mean that, you have travel kind of split into airline, accommodation, and experiences. Depending on where you are, there's different levels of regulation. Uh, I would probably say for the front, in my opinion, from the beginning, it's probably more regulated, and towards experiences, maybe it's a little bit newer of a space. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's a big part of it. But nevertheless, one thing that's super exciting, a good trend, I think, with these PSPs is these marketplace solutions uh, or platforms or for partner solutions. Uh, those provide a cre pretty good, solid base for travel companies. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for your time today, Zach. I really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you again at MPE next year. Uh, thank you for having me and I'm excited to be here next year.